Yeah, so I got something else to say about something. Y'all know I don't get on here that often. Otherwise, it ain't nothing to be said at all. But I got something to say right now. So, it wasn't enough to start my day off. Waking up to some, having found out some shit to hit the fan, but I go to bed and get my sleep at night. I'm getting my rest. News about to come on right now, and they about to talk about it. They about to talk about it. A father and husband left devastated his wife Maybe not yet, but it's going to be a news story because it's been a news story all day. And all day yesterday. Well, all morning, I should say. It's been all day. Yeah, so I didn't watch the Oscars. I was sleeping. That's what I was watching in the back of my eyelids. And so I woke up to all the memes and all the talk and breaking news or whatever. I don't know. But Will Smith done walked up on the stage and slapped Chris Rock. Just walk. Slapped Chris Rock. Just walk. Chris didn't mess around, told a joke that didn't set too well. Really with Jada Pinkett. I seen Will at first chuckle a little bit, <laughs> you know. And then he didn't, his wife didn't do no. It was like devastation in her continent. She just looked like hell and slapped her. So he got on up. And he walked on up. Walked up. Really didn't look that menacing. Really, I'm he almost thought he just was going to whisper something in, the, in, in Chris's ear or something. He kept that composure. And I'm surprised they didn't tackle him before he got up there on the stage. Really. I bet security kind of nodded and was like, I already knew. Was just probably saying, man, don't just don't, don't beat him down. Don't beat him down. It's the wars. It's the wars. Now, nah, doing too much as it is. But he went on ahead and slept. Woo, Chris. <laughs> Uh, my jaws hurt from that slap. He said, Will Smith just slept the shit out of me. <laughs> you know the thing about comedy is, you know, it's truth told with humor. And if you, if truth, if you can't handle your truth, you can't, you ain't, you can't handle comedy. But uh, honestly, I didn't feel like the joke. This is just me, though. I'm not Jada. No, I, I get it. If you felt some type of way, hey, hey listen. I would have played it up though, cause I would have been like, I would have just played it up, smile. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> smile, be like, yeah, thank you for that extra money coming in. I'll be looking forward to the uh the the script. That's cha-ching, that's extra money, you know. Jada's a beautiful woman, hair or no hair, real talk. Real goddamn talk. Yeah. Yeah, nah, I said it. Oh, I'll holla at you, Jada, I'm going holla at you. <laughs> yeah. Will, we gonna have to fight. No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Will and Jada. You know they always pegging Will as is a uh, beta male, so they always think he kind of low key. You know, got a little punk punk in him. You know, not that he gay punk punk, but that he he ain't alpha. He he ain't, but he had to go no ahead and make a statement. People thought it was staged. I don't see it. And I'm laughing because they got a meme that captures some of the facial expressions of the people in the audience. Based on them facial expressions, oh no, just the facial expressions alone, that could not have been staged. Because clearly somebody in the audience would have had a clue if it was going to be staged. Because half them faces you saw probably was either presenting the award at some point or receiving one. So they got to be you know, in the know about what's going on. I just think that it was a build-up, you know, from some shit that go beyond that joke. I think it's more than just that joke. 
And I think we'll just finally hit that boiling point. You know, the pressure of a geyser at some point ain't got to pop off. And that was his moment. But I don't be watching that shit. I don't be watching them award shows no more because it's a waste of time. Oh, no, congratulations, though. He did win. He won an Oscar. I forgot for what, but he won one shit. That's the very least that could happen for him, seeming that he got up on the stage and low-key G-checked uh, Chris Rock. Oh, y'all. Excuse me. Oh, oh, Lord. Anyway. He G-checked him. Yep. And so that, that's the slap that was heard all around the world. And all the me. And all the jokes. And all the parodies. It's just rolling, rolling, rolling. All out on, on social media. Lord Jesus. Boy, these is the pitfalls of fame. All your business is out in the street. You can't have no privacy. I honestly didn't know that Jada had alopecia. Though. I didn't know she had something going on. Beautiful woman, though. Beautiful woman. Hell yeah, no, hell. Yeah. And as much as women be wearing wigs and ain't shit wrong with them, girl, you get, listen. You do you. You do you. Don't even worry about it. I just wish she could have just had the sense of humor right then and just played that one up. Because I would, hey, if, if G.I. Jane 2 come out and they reach out to Jada and say, listen, we ain't trying to be funny, but we know you will be good for the part. And she going on ahead and accept that part. And if that movie come out, I'm going to be in the front row watching. And waiting on it to come out on DVD. And I'm going to have it in my collection. I'm going to watch it on Netflix. I'm going to watch it in my sleep, damn it. So I want to say that to me. I'm, I, that's a compliment. But I get it. Because half their business is out there. They open relationship. Red table talk mess. Well, Jada. Jada's infidelity. And, you know the entanglement. Remember the entanglement? Infidelity. I think I almost said it wrong. The, the, the entanglement. Yeah, they was talking about that for a while. The entanglement. The wheel. He tried to handle that, like, you know, tried to get through that. And that's where the beta male stuff came from. Because they were like, yo, you going to let your woman do that? And now he defending her honor because she looked up. She looked like she seen the ghost after that man told that joke. Watch the footage. Watch the footage. See what I'm telling you. She looked at devastated. And while he started laughing a little bit, and he got wind of the fact that she wasn't comfortable with that, he was in a position where he had to shit or get off the pot. That's what he had to do. And Chris knew it too. I know. I don't even know how he just still stood there. He knew what was happening. Something was about to happen. <laughs> He's like, oh, look. And he got that slap. How your jaws feeling? How your jaw feeling? <laughs> All right. I ain't gonna say too much more about that, but it's you know, Hollywood. It is what it is. You know, we take it as a grain of salt. It's entertainment. But they forget, in the midst of all the entertainment, is real life and real people. No matter how fact, fake they try to act. Regardless of the high density of fakeness, they still real people. Real talk. I just want to say something. I didn't want to say my piece. Is everybody else saying their piece? They got parodies in there. I've been cracking up all day. I've been sharing my, my share of them on my timeline. Yes, I have. <laughs> It's going to blow over like any whole storm, you know? It's going to blow over. Anyway, let me go on over here and get off this camera. I think I've said about enough about this.
slap that was heard and felt all around the world.